The Fidelity Australian Future Leaders Fund has really been designed to capture the future leaders of tomorrow today. And that is also driven by a balanced uh, portfolio construction approach, which is called quality, momentum, transition and value, which is really a blended style neutral approach, but it capsulates growth, growth stocks, momentum thematics, and then also more valuation driven stocks as well. So we manage risk in, in three ways. So one is at the stock level using VSC. At the portfolio level, it's managed as its quality, momentum, and transition and value. And at the valuation level for the portfolio, on the, at the third level. So the first is really VSC, which is viability, sustainability, credibility, which is about returns, about duration of those returns, and about trusting yourself to make judgments about management, the accounts, and those returns. Then at the portfolio level is QMTV. So that's quality, momentum, transition, and value. And when you think about the risk and return, they're actually quite discrete in those different journeys as the stocks go through these journeys. So that QMTV keeps the portfolio risk return profile really focused and disciplined. And then the third one is at the portfolio level is really about valuation discipline, which is also a conscious awareness of keeping valuation balance. Describe the investment style as growth at reasonable price. So there is definitely a quality skew to the portfolio. So it has a quality bias, but it is still balanced with value and transition names, which are still asset backed and very valuation focused. And then also it gets involved in momentum thematics such as lithium more recently. Um, but ultimately it's a growth at reasonable price fund um, with a good valuation discipline. Altium, which is a PCB software business, really encapsulates the, the, the philosophy of the fund. It's a beautiful long-term compounder, started in Australia, has a founder business, high ROE, small market structure, does something very unique for the world, and it's up you know, 10 times. We bought it 10 years ago and held it all the way through from three or $4 10 years ago to today, it's at $40. And that is typical, like beautiful long-term compounder, we call it. And that's what I try to spend my life trying to find in the fund.